All right, Bambinos. So, what are we going to do this time? Well, we're going to do some sculpting. Oh, finally going to get around to sculpting more of that Smasher Squig, are we? No. No, we're not. Because I've got another project. I never, I never said that I wasn't going to do other things as well, okay? So, just, like, calm yourselves. So, um, it's a friend of mine's birthday coming up soon. And I've decided to sculpt them their favourite cryptid, which is Mothman. Uh, Mothman is his favourite cryptid, so that's what I'm gonna gonna attempt to make. So I've got all the ingredients I need. I've got a base. Boom. I've got some garden wire. Double boom. I've got some foil, triple boom, and I've got melee part quadruple boom, and green stuff. Quinn, Quinn, boom, five boom, five boom, that'll do. So using this, um, I need to make a frame. So, like, the, just the initial frame of where the arms, legs, and wings are. Doesn't have a head. Interesting fact about Mothman. Well, one of the interpretations of Mothman, obviously. Or Mothman. Or Old Mothy. Hey, it's, got, it's got loads of names. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Bend and twist this wire. Not all this wire. That's a lot of wire. I don't want him to be that big. I want him to be about, you know, that big. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to twist some of this wire uh, into the shape of one interpretation of the cryptid Mothman. So I'll be back in just one second. Okay, so um, I have made a rough framework or oh, maquette. No, not maquette. That's something different. So this is the rough framework of the Mothman or Old Mothy or Mothmeister General, whatever, whatever you want to call this cryptid. So yeah and he fits on the base quite well obviously his feet aren't this big um but i didn't want to it's better to have too much than not enough for it um these are obviously going to be his wings and these are his arms and his face is actually basically in his torso that's where his eyes are going to be and I'm planning to do like a glowing effect. I would put LEDs in there, but um, I don't. That's not a skill that I have really on that side of it. It'd be interesting to learn maybe in the future, but that's not something that I have the ability to do. So, yeah, next stage is to start bulking up with foil. So let's give that a go. And I'll be back in just a second. Okay, here we go. So, I've filled him up. The camera's probably not going to like the shininess of the foil. Um, but, there we go. There's, there's his back with his wings. And there's, there's his front. So I obviously haven't done much, any detail at all. This is just all bulking up. Um, and on that note, the next stage will be covering him in milliput. So that's what I shall do now. So I'll um, I'll start it off, and then I'll come back to show you how it's going. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. So, I have um, managed to cover the uh, model in a little too far in milliput there. 
Now, I know that they look like their breasts, but they're in fact the Mothman's eyes. Um, I found some some buttons, which I think work quite well. Um, obviously, this is just the first layer. Um, on top of this, I'm going to do a lot of fur texture, I think. Yeah, probably a lot of fur texture over the majority of the model. So that does mean that although it does look quite patchy in areas, um, fur texture is gonna gonna cover. Well, I suppose it's feather texture on the wings. Let's say not fur. So yeah, the feather texture on the wings, and then his main body is gonna be furry. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of fur on him. Um, I've also made his little, his li ickle little hands. Now uh, I couldn't find much information about Mothman's hands, so I just went with a two finger and a thumb approach. I thought that was that was enough for the main man Mothman that he is. And I've also the wires that were attached on the bottom. I've bent to look like to be his claws um, because I think it would be quite interesting to have him perching on something and maybe looking down so I'm thinking like maybe some of this some of this pipe that he'll be perched on kind of like that ish obviously but you know better and I still obviously need to do the rest of the feet. Um, all the fur texture on his body. The wind, uh, the feather texture on his wings. And then um, I just need to paint him. Um, which should be quite easy because he's always in shadow. Um, but he does have glowing red eyes. So the plan is that I'm going to do him completely black. Um, with source lighting on on his eyes, uh, kind of illuminating, like around the area. But yeah, that's what I've got. That's what I've got so far for the Mothmeister, Mothman. Okay, so I'm going to start on the. Uh, fur texture first so once I've done the fur texture over his over his body and his butt see I gave him a gave him a healthy butt um I'll uh I'll come back and show you before I start on the wings it's probably best to do one let it dry and then do the other so that's what I do all right so I thought I'd just quickly show you what he looks like at the moment um, I've bulked up where this is this is all still wet and I'm going to be making this all into fur but I just thought it looked pretty cute kind of like an owl in a uh, spacesuit I guess not weird that the looks like an owl mm, interesting right so I'll fur that up and I'll see you in a bit Okay, so I have finished doing all the fur on the Mothman. Here he is. As you can see, he's got all the fur texture all over his main body. Uh, the camera doesn't pick it up very well. Uh, I've also done it on his hump. On his boot hair. And I also did a bit on the top of the wings here as well. So the next thing I have to do is uh, the wings. Now I've got a couple of different ways I could do the wings. I could either just use Milliput and make more of a feathered texture. Um, or I could layer on Plasticard to um, look like actual feather wings. Um, so I'm still thinking about the best way to do that. Um, but I will be back shortly 
after I've done one of those two things. Still got his still got his feet to do as well. And sort his base out. And there are a couple of places where the fur's a bit thinner. So I might add a bit more fur in there. Well, yeah. That's Mothman so far. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see, I have not done the wings like I promised. So I'm sorry about that. Very sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry. Because um, what I've done is I've come into a bit of a predicament, I suppose, um, about what style of wings to go for. Uh, I have decided on doing uh, milliput or green stuff wings because I did try some plastic card ones, but they're not exactly what I'm after. So the question I have for you is should they be more so should they be realistic more realistic like these two i've based them on actual pictures of wings that i found on tinterweb or should they be more um like abstract i suppose more of just fitting the form and not looking as realistic as these ones so I'd like your opinion, really, what you think would look better. If you think the, on Mr. Mothman, if the more realistic ones or the more abstract ones. So if you can let me know down in the comments um, what you think is the best way forward, um, that's, that's what I'll go for. Uh, don't worry about spoiling this present for the person they already know. Um, because I've missed the deadline, so uh, yeah. If you can, if you can let me know down below in the comments uh, which versions of the wings you prefer, um, I can go ahead with those. Okay, great. So uh, make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe to make sure you don't miss part two when I actually do the wings and the feet and the base. Um, and let me know if you prefer the more realistic or the more abstract.